As we leave Ibiza, our hearts are ready to set down in Barcelona. We spend one week in Barcelona and it turns out to be our favorite place to visit in the world. Come along with us on an unforgettable journey back in time and discover the top five must-see locations. We eat, sleep, and drink like the locals. And we want to share it with you. Come along, our friends. Number five. This one's more of a journey than a destination. Number five is the streets of Barcelona. We felt very safe walking the streets of Barcelona. It seems around every corridor there was something new to explore. We stayed over in this area called the Elborn District, which is more of a hip new area in Barcelona. It's a great area to stay. We, we walked for miles just staring at the ancient buildings, small walkways, restaurants. The balconies were filled with these plants and the brick driveways sort of echoed from the pattering of your feet. And just as the road ends, it sort of opens up into a large piazza and it's somewhat speckled with tourists sort of clamoring for the last bit of shade or even a cold sip of sangria at a local restaurant patio. Now our next must-see location in Barcelona, coming in at number four, is Les Rambla. Right in the middle is a large median where a lot of the vendors set up. Handmade necklaces, earrings, they have purses, and it's just beautiful. Definitely try out Les Rambla. So what do you think of that? Las Rambla is an amazing spectacle. But our next must-see location in Barcelona is just across the street. Coming in at number three, the Central Market. This is where you could purchase fresh fish and have it cooked right in front of you. You could taste local cheeses, purchase fresh smoothies, fresh vegetables, taste local candies. But what we decided to do is have lunch at one of these fresh seafood bars. This place was called Ramblero. Take a look at the menu. It seems to be reasonably priced for fresh fish. What an incredible lunch after a long day of walking. Now the number two must-see location in Barcelona was on my bucket list for years. I knew that when we chose to visit Barcelona, that we had to visit Camp Nou. That's right. The number two must-see location in Barcelona is the home of FC Barcelona soccer team, Camp Nou. This stadium was simply amazing. I've been to several American football games and nothing compares to European soccer. The game started at about 10 p.m. due to the heat because this was in early August. So we had to make our way from Les Rambla to the stadium. We decided to take the subway and wow, what a mistake. It was extremely packed. When you enter the stadium, you feel a sense of awe, really. The stadium seats 99,354 people, and it really feels like it when they cheer. This was without a doubt my greatest moment in Barcelona. The roar of the crowd, the clicking of the photogs, and half the stadium supporting Barcelona and the other half supporting Madrid, there's simply no words. I'll tell you what, take a listen as Messi takes a penalty kick. You can feel the rumbling of the stadium when he misses. We stayed until the end and the stadium surprisingly emptied out rather quickly. But as we exited the stadium, we noticed that there's a hundred thousand people trying to make their way down to Barcelona downtown. As we look down the streets, we see tens of thousands of jerseys flooding the streets. We decided to go ahead and follow them on foot. It was 11 mile walk back to our home and we enjoyed every single bit of it. 
The crowds were happy, waving their flags at opposing sides, drinking beers in local pubs with the opposing team and arguing about the game. We felt completely safe walking through the streets. We would absolutely go back again. So without a doubt, you have to see a soccer game in Camp Nou. We finally made it to number one, and this one is one of the most amazing locations in all of Europe. They've been building this structure since 1882 and expect to complete it somewhere around 2026. The number one location in all of Barcelona is Sagrada Familia. That's right, this basilica was designed by the Spanish architect Anton Gaudi and stands strong in the northern part of Barcelona. To enter the church, you'll need to purchase a ticket, which I'll have a link down in the description below. Tickets are around 25 euro and children under 11 are free. Entrance into the towers though, that's gonna be an additional fee and you'll have to check that out on their website as well. And don't forget, you can purchase the tickets with an app on your phone and that'll be listed below as well. After you've entered the church though, You'll be in complete awe of the incredible artwork, statues, stained glass, and really basically the whole structure. It's an incredible feat. So that's it everyone. The top five must-see locations in Barcelona. I hope we were able to take you away for a short time into a truly amazing city. Don't forget to take a look at another video of ours and it's called 48 hours in Ibiza we take you to the number one nightclub in the world a day club on the beach and some of the best restaurants on the island just click the link and check it out once again thank you for hanging out with us here at under one sun and remember live life to the fullest because we're all under one sun see you guys